Well, pedestrian enforcement week starts today and it's all an effort to keep you safe. In Michigan, more than 100 people are killed each year crossing the road. Detroit and Warren suffer the most accidents. Between 2013 and 2015, more than 2,300 people in Detroit were involved in pedestrian crashes. In Warren, that number was 193. And that's why those cities are teaming up with the Office of Highway Safety Planning. 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie explains why more police will be on the streets starting today. This enforcement is not just meant for drivers. It's also meant for people jaywalking. Warren police tell me this intersection behind me at 12 Mile and Van Dyke is one of the worst in the cities for that. I also spoke to a woman who uses this bus stop on a daily basis. She says she sees jaywalking all the time. They're just putting themselves at danger and other people at that point. China Tucker says just the other day she saw someone getting ticketed for jaywalking. I saw an officer pull, like pull someone over the other day walking across the street instead of using a crosswalk. Not only did we see jaywalking near the intersection, we caught multiple people jaywalking near the intersection of Nine Mile and Van Dyke as well. We see a lot of this on Van Dyke. We see a lot on Ryan um, and on Mound. So we're here to assist in uh, educating so we can save lives. Sergeant Yunkin says so far this year, Warren police have conducted 30 details to crack down on these issues. For each detail, they get an extra four officers on the streets and an average of six tickets per officer. Some of the violations include jaywalking and improper lane usage, aka drivers passing into bike lanes and parking over crosswalks at the red lights. So far this year, there have been 20 pedestrian crashes in Warren. We should definitely think twice about that. It's either a funeral or making it across the street safely. You don't know which one it's going to be. Another issue Warren police tell me they see is people driving in these bike lanes. They say if they see drivers doing that, they will give them tickets. Reporting in Warren, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News.